Another thing I like to do is on the um, You make me smile Oh yeah So it's like going from F minor 11 Instead of just going F minor over right. E flat which is what I would probably do Right, is to just do parallel minors So it's like an E flat minor 11 This video is made possible by CuriosityStream and Nebula You can gain access to the extended version of this video Plus a PDF when you use the link you see here to sign up for CuriosityStream and Nebula for less than $15 for the whole year. Hey everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. I've got a very special guest with me today. This is John Prue. Hey everybody. John is an awesome piano player. He's an awesome singer. And I don't really know if he's, you know, Chet Baker reincarnated play, who plays piano, but, um, you're about to hear his voice, and and I think you'll you'll understand why why we've titled the video that way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play any trumpet, do you? I don't. No, but I love the sound of the trumpet. Yeah. Did you fall in love with Chet Baker early? Yeah, I, I had been listening to his recordings, uh, but didn't realize he was a singer at first. I, I heard the trumpet, and then I heard someone singing. I said, "Who's that?" And realized it was the same person, and it was it blew me away because. He was so lyrical in his trumpet playing, and then that carried over into his vocal and vice versa. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it, it's almost like a blessing that he had teeth problems and had to sing. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I, the world would be a much uh, much less beautiful place without having had Chet Baker's voice in it. I don't just want to have them take my word for it. I'd like them to be able to hear you. So can you just start by playing something for us? We'd love to, yeah. All right. Here I'd like to mention that the solo you are about to hear John take is available over on Nebula. There's a PDF, a transcription of it. It's a killer solo, but you've got to sign up. There will be many other nights like this And I'll be standing here with someone new There will be other songs to sing Another fall, another spring, but there will never be another you there will be other lips that I may kiss but theirs won't thrill me like yours used to do yes I may dream a million dreams but how can they come true if there will never ever be another you but -da -da -ba -da 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 there will be many other nights like this and I'll be standing here with someone new there will be other songs to sing another fall another spring but there will never be another you there will be other that I may kiss But theirs won't throw me like yours used to do No, I may dream a million dreams But how can they come true If there will never ever be There will never ever be There will never ever be Another You John. That's too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, you ended the tune in a way, I want to talk about it while you did it, mm -hmm. or right after you did it. Um, you went to a B major? Yeah, I went to a B major instead of just ending on the traditional E flat, and I love doing that when I have an ending. And I think, as you know, the cool thing about accompanying yourself is that you know where you're going to go. That's right. Which, so you can kind of anticipate if I'm going, um, another you. So you're saying that? Yeah, flat. so this is a B flat, and it's a so it becomes the 
the major seven of the B major chord. So I went then I went to E seven, which is the tritone of B flat. Um, and the uh, leading tone to E flat. And the leading tone to E flat, which right? Is the key. Exactly. So I'm really kind of spelling out this E thirteen. And then instead of just going you, then I think I went you or something like that, and added a little sharp eleven major seven at the end. <laughs> just like you practice. Just like I practice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for remembering what you did. I oftentimes don't. Yeah. Yeah, we get you right right after you play it, and you still remember it. And I'm glad you went up high at the end too, because phew, that's the Chet Baker, right? Right. That's the money range. That that Holy tenor range. Moly. You recorded a whole album of Chet Baker. Yeah, songs, it's called right? Baker's Dozen. It came out in 2009. I love and, that album. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, could we play a tune from that album together? Maybe? Sure, yeah. What would you play on that? Uh, we could do uh, But Not For Me. Let's do do that. Okay, let's do do that. songs of love, but not for me. Our lucky stars above, but not for me. With love to lead the way, I'll find more clouds of gray than any Russian play could guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get that way. Hey ho, alas, and also like a day. Although I can't dismiss the memory of his kiss, I guess he's not for me. Oh, well, well, that way 
fly by the seat of your pants right i know i, I was like oh i think i'm gonna end but then i heard you're like i'm not sure if i'm gonna end i was like well now we're ending <laughs> <laughs> I mean, john's a freaking pro so <laughs> we made it work yeah we just go yeah it's seriously one of one of the reasons i i got into jazz as soon as i realized people could make stuff up on the spot mm -hmm. yeah it's it's one of my favorite things too and just never knowing what to expect mm -hmm. but you're speaking the same language so eventually you're going to arrive at the same point yeah could have been a train wreck. Yeah. But I wasn't I wasn't going to give it room to be. No. And neither were you. No, we were just going to keep going until <laughs> we finished. <laughs> <laughs> Would you play something else? Sure, I'd love to. Um, this is a song that, that Chet Baker uh, was famous for, so I, I would love to do it. And um, this is, of course, My Funny Valentine. Less than green 
Is your mouth a little weak when you open it to speak? Are you smart? But don't change a hair for me. Thank you. Whew, I needed to have an audience in here to give it the thunderous applause. That it <laughs> Thank that was you. Gorgeous. Thank you. Um, again, while I'm thinking of it, I, I tried to notice a thing or two that yeah. you did when you came back in with the um, after, with the bridge for mm. the vocal. Mm -hmm. Are you smart? Um, goes to the A flat chord there. Yeah. Right. And, you, you, you played an E on it, like a little augmented G. Yeah, I love to there. do that. Thank you. Whenever the, that's just one of these kind of interesting th theoretical things. When you have the third in the melody and it's a major seven chord, right, you can add the sharp five, and usually I'll go to the six, and, and in this way I think I created a little line. Smile. So it's creating this line that then can go to the yeah. note that you're. And I like what you do there too. You play, oh, thanks. Play dominant. You play dominant with a sharp nine. Right, right. Instead of doing the typical minor seven flat five, it just adds a little color to it. So I, I love doing those kind of things where something's done a certain way, but I like to change the color of mm -hmm. the of the chord. Another thing I like to do is on the. Um, you make me smile. So it's like going from F minor 11, instead of just going F minor over right, E flat. which is what I would probably do. Right, is to just do parallel minors. So it's like an E flat minor 11. And then you can even just go to D minor 11. And not even the flat five sometimes. Right. Sometimes I love to leave the flat five out. Because then you have this. To go to the 251. So oftentimes you always think of the two chord as having not a flat five, right? And yeah. the major 251. And flat five in the minor two five one, but I like to leave it, leave it out sometimes in the minor as a surprise, like that. Yeah, then you bring in the sounds of that harmonic minor scale when you get to the dominant mm -hmm. chord. You just like delay it a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really tasty. Thank I'm, you. I'm learning all kinds of things. <laughs> Another thing I did too was on the bridge out. I I went to a pedal, which I love to do too. So instead of just going, is your figure less than Greek? Is to E flat over B flat and just. It opens it up as well. Is your, you know, um, figure less than Greek, and this is a flat nine sus. Um, instead of just going da 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 da, da it's major with the regular nine. But if you flat the nine, figure less than Greek. It, there's a sadness about it. There is, and I hear it as a four minor. Or a four minor, yeah, six. same thing, right? Yeah. Minor six over over one the or pedal, over yeah. the pedal works as well. Is your mouth a little weak when you? Here's another one, right? You, it's E flat, but could you go? Yes, you could. Right. I mean, there's so many things you can do. I, I love, I love harmony. That's How something. do you think of that chord? Because I, I think I think of it differently than everybody else. Or like a D major it? over E flat. That's how I think of it. Yeah. I mean, you can also think of it like a like as diminished. a diminished with yeah. a major seven mm -hmm. on the top. Could we play one more together? We'd love that. Yeah. Kind of since we're in this sort of ballady mood, why don't we do a ballad together? Um, I fell in love too easily. Another Chet Baker. Another Chet Baker, of course. I mean, this is Chet Baker reincarnate right here. <laughs> um, in the flesh. In the flesh. With more teeth. With more teeth. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, let, let's, uh, and then maybe we can do a little soloing as well. Okay. fall in love too fast I fall in love too terribly hard for love to ever last my heart should be well schooled cause I've been
<laughs> Thanks, John. Yeah, that was great. Gosh, I think I made some serious snake faces <laughs> during your solos. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, whoa, all right. No way, man. Oh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks. Thanks, to everybody. John. Had a great time, Amy. Thank you. Absolutely. Please check out John. He has written a brand new book. What's the name of it? Where can they find it? Yeah, it's called Soundscapes, and it's available at my website, johnpru.com. That's J-O-H-N-P-R-O-U-L-X, just like it sounds, dot com. Uh, it's also available on amazon.com as well. And uh, he's got music everywhere, too, and it's darn good music. If you'd like to see an extended cut of this video and get the PDF of John's amazing solo, you need to be on Nebula, my streaming service. YouTube is great, but my more in-depth videos are on Nebula, which is a streaming platform for educational and ad-free content. It's the only place where you can watch my exclusive video essay about the Brian Wilson composition Surf's Up, as well as many other extended versions of my videos and exclusive PDFs that you won't have access to on YouTube alone. You'll also get to watch my videos a few days early. I always put them up on Nebula first. You will get Nebula for free when you sign up for Curiosity Stream using my link. The reason that I put my more in-depth videos over on Nebula instead of YouTube is that they just wouldn't work on YouTube. YouTube has that algorithm. The way that the site works doesn't always work for my videos. Plus, Nebula doesn't have any ads. Everything on Nebula is made by educational content creators like myself and many others that you're probably already aware of. Listening In, Adam Neely, Mary Spender, 12 Tone, as well as many others who make content about things other than music. Legal Eagle, Wendover Productions, Thomas Frank, Renee Ritchie, and so many more. There is new exclusive content added to Nebula every single day. It's creator-owned and creator-operated. In fact, we've been working really hard on Nebula lately, and it's now an app for iOS, Android, Fire Stick, Roku, Apple TV, and Android TV. My fellow creators and I really care about Nebula, which is why we're stoked to be partnered with CuriosityStream, the best place on the internet for documentaries, with entire sections devoted to such topics as archaeology, Mars, World War I, World War II, biographies, the mind, medical advancements, and so many more categories, even music. With this current bundle deal, you will get access to both CuriosityStream and Nebula for less than $15 for the year. You'll have full access to both sites, and to be clear, Nebula is not a trial subscription. As long as you stay a member of CuriosityStream, Nebula will come with it. When you sign up, you'll get a welcome email from Nebula, and you'll be on your way. I don't know of any other offer on the internet that would give you access to two entire educational streaming platforms for such a low price. By taking advantage of this deal, you're not only helping Amy Nolte Music, but so many more independent creators as well. So get this amazing deal by clicking the button on the screen right now or the link that you see below, curiositystream.com slash Amy Nolte. And thank you so much. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music. Bye-bye.